Very important point. So in scientific professions lately, this wasn't always the case, le lately as in the last 10 or 20 years, mm -hmm. if you're in a scientific profession where your results have economic consequences, then you need to disclose your funders. Okay. So if you do research that says this new medicine is the best one ever, and Pfizer makes the medicine, and Pfizer funded your research, mm -hmm. you got to disclose that. Okay. Okay. It doesn't mean that your research is wrong. It's transparency. What it means is you, if you're a reader of this research, you want to be extra skeptical. Mm hmm. If especially when they're getting a result that is in the interest of the funder. So mm -hmm. in the pharmaceuticals and in medical professions where there's big money in the results of your experiment, if your experiment is testing one medicine versus another, you've got to disclose all of that. Again, it doesn't mean your results are wrong, yeah. but you may be more susceptible to bias in your data gathering and in your analysis. And I'm going to be more careful. And I'm going to be extra, uh, my level of scrutiny will be higher of yeah. your research paper, perhaps relative to someone else's. So that's a whole category of science that goes on every day. Mm -hmm. My field, first, the patient doesn't die, and it hardly ever has any effect on the world economy. So our disclosures are way less interesting to you. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I, I have... You know, I, I discover a new feature about black holes. Yes, my my funders are listed. Is it the National Science Foundation? Is it some grant that I got from some family foundation? Fine. But so so in my field and other fields in the physical sciences, we're just simply less susceptible to bias in yeah. that realm if for the who the funder bias. Yeah. Our, we, we're paid. We, we have um, our two my fields principal funding sources is NASA and the National Science Foundation. Mm. What's NASA's role? What What is their job? Okay, so other than 